husbands in the comments if you're there. What do they do? And I'm like, we cry. Take our steaming baskets. We bought this in a panic. I know that she's an apple girly. Very good, it's right there. What do we feel like, turkey burgers? She hasn't tried bell peppers yet. Turn it. Yes. you rate your milk service today? Oh, 20 out of 10. Always. We aim to please. It is Sunday in this house, and so Dada is starting to do his fasting. And this is the day that we go grocery shopping. Yesterday, we went to Costco together as a family because that's just fun. That's just a fun thing to do. And what did anybody do? We sat in a shopping cart for the first time. Oh my god. Even though she can totally sit up on her own at this point, she was definitely still like wobbly in the cart. It needs some taking used to. Like to know to hold on to the thing in the cart, like the railing thing. So we stuffed a little blanket and Jack just had his hands like on both sides of her so that she wouldn't just like topple over. I know you can get these like nifty shopping cart things. Wow. Yeah. And they look really cool. I might get one, but honestly, we've been accumulating so much baby stuff because it's so easy to do that. And I don't know if that'll be necessary for too much longer, mm. I guess. Have you seen those shopping cart things? I think so. A blanket slash cushiony thing for your baby while they sit in the cart. Maybe not. You have to show me. That yeah. sounds really cool. It is cool. Maybe we should get one. Oh no. I feel like for so long, we were in the trenches of figuring out this whole parenthood thing. And when she was a newborn, obviously, and just adjusting. It's like we gave ourselves permission to just like, if it seems like it would help, we're gonna buy it. It's like not feeling guilty about certain things, like getting takeout. Never felt guilty about it. We definitely got takeout more often than we did before. 100%. <laughs> During that time, it was just like- It's easy. Exactly. But we were giving ourselves permission, and rightfully so, to make it easier on ourselves, just with anything. But then you like snap your fingers, <laughs> and it feels like all of a sudden one day you wake up and you're not in the trenches. And I'm like, okay, we should probably not be buying so many things without like actual thoughtfulness behind them. You get out of the trenches and you're charging across the battlefield. With all your baby products. Yes, the confidence that comes with that. Enables you to buy less. Less, exactly. And I think also just like realizing how fast different phases actually go. Like I remember in the newborn phase, 
I would buy something that would help with something we were struggling with. But then by the time it would come, like either days later or a week later, we wouldn't need it anymore because she was just not doing that thing anymore or just out of that phase. It was so fast. I can remember like one or 20 pacifiers. Guys, I didn't count the pacifiers, but I did put all of them in a baggie, so multiple funny. baggies. I only had like small sandwich baggies to be completely fair. How many visually do you think that was? Oh my gosh, tens. Tens, no, for sure. Different brands of pacifiers. And if they were different brands, but somebody was like, no, that one didn't work for my baby, but this variation of that brand worked for my baby. I would get that variation. <laughs> and none of them worked. It was my hyper fixation during the depths of newborn phase. I did see a comment semi recently that was like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad for the parents whose babies don't take pacifiers. Like, what do they do? And I'm like, we cry. We cry along with our baby who is crying. <laughs> and won't take a soother. I'm trying to think back. It's like, would a pacifier have actually fixed it at that point? Remember when she would like take one for one second and it did, and it just stopped it for like one second during her like, witching oh, hours. Wow. It was so crazy. Witching hours were next level insanity. If you're in the depths of wondering if your baby is gonna cry for the rest of their life, like forever and hours on hours, I need you to just look at this clip and know that I also was wondering these <laughs> the same thing but now she is happy she's a happy happy baby for the most part she's a human being so we all have our ups and downs yeah, she doesn't cry for hours on that yeah like we can take her to a store and not wonder if she's gonna wake up and just start screaming and we yeah. won't know what to do like that was our life for a little bit there and now we go to costco and we put her in the cart. All of a sudden, witching hours fade, and you're like, all right, life can begin. This is crazy. Oh my goodness, you're such a mean. Care for some coffee. I would love coffee. Come here. We are on the move, and we are so fast. Come here. This is the way the cow would dry, the cow would dry, the cow would dry. It's like a, uh, a conditioning mask for the hair, right? Yeah, some, some good slobber. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this, but on Sundays, it is our cleaning grocery day. And it's basically wherever we can fit that stuff in while she's awake or while she's napping, etc. First step with cleaning is dusting, getting all the dust off the surfaces and onto the floor because then we're gonna vacuum. But Jack does the majority of the cleaning situation while I take on the grocery situation. Hello, Monkina. No, I'm coming in here, baby. The other big project today is is this shindig. We bought this in a panic because it was going to be like really, really warm. I think that was last week. Another project I'm gonna do is clean up that closet. Closet. The front closet. Mm, I'm that gonna front throw closet. Away that TV box. I'm gonna do it. No, you're not. The TV box club, are you sure? I know. As a millennial male, you're going Mac. to throw out a tech box. Mackenzie Dingle, using your name that I never call you. When, whenever Jack is, like calls me Mac, I'm like, are you okay? I'm going to show them your closet in our bedroom. No. <laughs> Husbands in the comments, if you're there. Help Jack. And if you're millennial, help me out. Not this being the situation right now. 16 and a quarter, kid. Can you find me 16 and a quarter? Very good, it's right there! Oh my gosh, I would not have been able to do that if you did not scream at mommy and come up into daddy's lap. Mom, yeah. we have a new toy, look. Oh, that's the funnest thing. Ready? Oh, oh my goodness. Is that, is that daddy's toy box? We have a portable AC unit that we would just lug around the house. Lug around, it's on wheels. It's totally doable. But we knew that her room, we would just probably have that AC unit. Like if we got another portable one, it would just always be in here anyway. We play in here, she sleeps in here. So we went with a window unit for her room. It's whisper quiet, that was the main. That's a big thing too, yes. I was so it's worried impressive. about getting another portable one, at least the one that we have. It just is constantly like so loud ramping up and then when it goes, thank you, when it goes off, I wake up when it turns off. So I was like, that's totally gonna disturb her sleep and anything having to do with her sleep stresses me out so bad. Just left over from the newborn phase, like so bad. So this one is known for being so quiet because is it that the compressor's on the outside? 
Yeah. So I will leave the one that we went with linked down below because it was thoughtfully chosen for a nursery for us personally. On sale at Costco right now. Do you think it's the same one on Costco? Uh, we saw it, it at Costco. The exact same one, yeah. Okay, we saw we saw a few of them there yesterday. <laughs> Cleaning, what did you get done while we were? I cleaned the apartment, the bathroom is clean. Beautiful. And the laundry is in. <gasps> you put the laundry in? But at this point, when she goes down, I try to skedaddle to the grocery store. But that requires a list. Figuring out what we want for the week. What do we feel like? Turkey burgers? Yes. I'm down. Turkey burgers. For that, we need a baked tomato. Taco Tuesday? Yes. yes, always. We need a Thursday and a tonight. What do we feel like? Mm. We need hand soap before I forget. Mm, hand soap. We just need a meal that lasts two nights looking at the weather. On Tuesday, it's six. It's like 69 and low 70s. We could do sausage soup for those nights if you feel No, no, not. He doesn't feel like sausage soup. Italian grinder. Oh, those Santa. are so good though. Yeah. I would do those. Delicious. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. We just sing along And I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? Any Benini is awake. It is about 12 o'clock. I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul of everything we got at Market Basket, and then I'm going to feed her. Is this the second feed or third feed? Depends on when she gets up in the morning. She gets up between like 5, 6 a.m. I feed her and she goes back to sleep for a little bit. I don't remember her doing that this morning. So I think it's just the second feed of the day. Anyway, rice packs, pepperonis, cherry tomatoes, broccoli, cucumbers, big steak tomatoes, a pack of vine tomatoes. How many varieties of tomatoes can we have? A lot apparently. Flax, whole wheat wraps, avocados, apples, bell peppers, zucchini, carrots, eggs, Oikos Pro yogurt, turkey breast, Colby Jack cheese, ziki sauce, shredded cheese, coleslaw, lettuce shreds, red onion, lemon, potato, turkey burgers, chicken breasts, ground beef, red wine vinaigrette, clear packing tape, pan soap refill, 0% yogurt, and a personal watermelon. This is a throw back. We got personal watermelons all summer long during my pregnancy, and I'm so excited to start it up again. I'm so excited for her to try watermelon. Lots of produce this week. I grabbed a handful of things for Annie Banani. She hasn't tried bell peppers yet, and I think she's gonna like them. So the recipe that I looked up had bell peppers and half a potato, and I thought that would be really yummy. They said potato or apple to blend in with it. I'm sure it's for thickness, consistency, etc. plus some more nutrition, and she hasn't even tried potato yet either so that'll be nice and then the zucchini i think she's gonna like that as well hi come on not the cat food oh who gets out of trash bag in the kitchen yeah that's really cool you know what's cooler come on you know what's awesome the kitchen come on yeah hey annie banani so fanny annie banani come here baby oh good job we did it! We got daddy a trash bag. Up, up. 
I won't make you do the journey back. That was a lot of baby CrossFit. A lot of baby CrossFit. I wanna show them our air conditioning progress. Also, these cute footless jam jams. I'll leave them linked below. Look at that. A dad of the year over here, girly. How impressed are you with this air con, bub? I'm very impressed. The whole time Jack was like, they think of everything. Any Benny and I don't really know what they think of. I was impressed with it, so. That means we're impressed with it. All the ceiling foam, like the block the other side, like it was very nice. It looks really nice. Press the test button, you'll notice it click as the reset. Press the reset button, you'll notice the click engages. The power mm -hmm. cord is now supplying electricity to the unit. Okay. So. Should we seal those little holes like that are underneath it? Um, yeah, I can do that. She is standing so good, you guys. Are you on your tippy toes? She literally doesn't even need as much support as she used to. Like I pulled out my own hands and she just uses them to stand up. <laughs> like that's crazy. I love you as bright as the sun. Turn the page. Yes, I love you and I know that you love me. I love you as strong as the wind. Turn the page. Turn it. Yes, and I love you because you are you. Yes, girlfriend. Annie Banani is down for her second nap. I ran out of apple pods that we keep in the freezer of apple puree. So I'm gonna make some more. I think I did three apples before and it made a little less than what I was expecting. So I'm gonna do four, just a little bit more. How long has the coffee been steeping for, bub? Good. We also have afternoon coffee brewing in the back. Do you want me to pour yours and put it in the fridge to cool it? Uh, sure. Whatever you're doing to yours, I will follow suit. First things first, we must peel the apples. Now we need to chop the apples and add them to the steaming basket. Now I'm going to bring a little bit of water, can you see that, in that pan to a boil. Now that it's at a low boil, take our steaming basket, put it in, grab a lid, and we're just going to make sure it's cracked a little bit. We'll give it like 10 minutes. Okay, four apples ended up making a good amount. We took up a lot of space in the steaming basket, so I ended up doing five more minutes and they are nice and soft. And then don't toss the cooking water if you're doing this because you can use that to get the consistency you're looking for. Baby Girl has been enjoying a lot of different textures lately, so I'm just gonna add a little bit. They say to add like a quarter cup of water at a time. I'm gonna do just half of that, probably an eighth of a cup, because again, we're playing with texture. But if you want it really smooth, you can add more water and you can always add more water like as you blend it and see the consistency that's happening. I've got some more stuff steaming in here. I'm gonna do the pepper and potato recipe and I'll leave the website where I'm getting these things down below. I think they're called the baby foodie and every time I just Google like apple baby puree recipe or like pepper baby puree, they're always the ones that come up. So they're really great and I followed a few of them already. But now this is the next step in our process. It feels like a lot, but I promise it's not. And especially the second or third time that I'm doing this, it's just very, very simple to do. I have these molds linked on my Amazon store and they are so good. So all you do is spoon the food, obviously, into each one. And I'll say that at first I was thinking I needed to fill each one. And at first we were just like tasting some things. And if I'm not sure if she's gonna like something, I will actually now only fill 
these things halfway because then I don't waste an entire pod of the food. For example, berries, I will mix those into yogurt and things and I won't use a full pod when I'm doing that. It's more of like a puree for texture and taste. So I'll only do like half of the pod filled with berries, but for apples, I know that she's an apple girly. So I'm going to fill these a little bit more. Delish. These molds come with a nifty lid. So just lid this. And then you'll see the other mold that we have has this berry. I think these are strawberry and blueberry mixtures in them. And they're really easy to just pop out of here. And if I need the molds for new food or if I just have a bunch that I need to store, I have these freezer bags also linked on Amazon. And for example, inside here are all of our sweet potato pods. And they're so easy. You just pick out a pod and you heat it up in 15 second increments and mix it around and make sure that it's not too hot when you give it to baby and we really like having these individual pods because if we want to give sweet potato plus apple it's easy to just take one pot of apple and one pot of sweet potato and kind of make our own mixtures or if we just want plain sweet potato or if we just want plain broccoli we have plain pods of those things but I'm gonna take our new apples I'm gonna put them in here for them to freeze and then I'll end up transferring those to a little baggie once they're done <laughs> I lose my breath. 